Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I work as a finance analyst. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through some business maths uh, calculations and ratios. How to calculate dividends. Uh, dividends are the payments we make to stockholders uh, from the profits after tax. Um, different companies will issue different size dividends. Some will choose not to issue dividends and use the money to invest in the company. Um, larger, well-established companies might look to keep a consistent dividend, send the same type of message out to the market and reward the shareholders uh, on a consistent basis. Um, and we'll go through some calculations now to demonstrate how uh, we get to the dividend rate and our company had uh, calculate what they're going to issue in the year. So one of the main concerns for the company is the earnings that they're going to require for their future financing needs um, and ultimately they're also looking to maximise the shareholder wealth. So there's a few decisions that companies need to take into consideration when determining the dividends. Um, but in terms of calculation, if we take in this example that a company's got total common stock of 1.5 million shares. Uh, in the previous two years, they've issued a dividend at 20% and 22% of after-tax profits. So this year, um, the company's now decided that they want to issue 25%. So what we need to do is uh, get the after-tax profits from the profit and loss. Um, so in this example we're going to say that the after tax profits is £1 million. So the company wants to issue 25% of this number to its shareholders. So the total dividend would be that times by your 25% equals the total dividend of £250,000. So we want to look at that as a, a dividend per share level then you can say your dividend divided by your common stock is 17 pence per share. So as a shareholder, I want to calculate what I can expect from the company based on the dividends that I owe. So in this example, we've got a person A and a person B, both of whom have a different number of shares. So person A is just a small um, shareholder, only has 500 shares. So we'd expect to receive a dividend of £83.33 in the year, which is simply shares. 500 multiplied by the dividend per share. Alternatively, person B is a more significant shareholder in the company and has 125,000 shares. So the dividend received by this person would be £20,833.33. So that's an example of how you calculate the dividend from the company's perspective, what we're going to issue, and then from a personal perspective, depending on the amount of shares that we have.